Hello guys and welcome to my new Cinema 4D tutorial. In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make text crash. So let's start. We're starting in Cinema 4D and I just want to say that for this tutorial I'm using Cinema 4D and Photoshop. Uh, first step is to add a text. So type your text. I'm gonna type a crash and then I'm going to change the font. For this tutorial I'm using Helvetica and if you like this font you can download it from the description below. Okay, after you do that go to this cube and click and hold and go to extrude nerves. After you do that go to object and then go to subdivisions and set to 3 okay then go to caps and now I'm going to change the type and in regular grid I'm going to set to 5 centimeter and then you can ju just drag your text into extrude nerves and like see we have 3D text okay the next step is to add explosion effects so let's see we don't have explosion yet but if I go to extrude nerves and if I hold my shift on my keyboard and then if I press on explosion and if I go to right click and if I go to group object you can see that the parts is everywhere in my cinema 4D and now I'm going to fix that. So go to explosion effects and then go to object and time set to 8.2. Okay. Uh, then go to in explosion uh, strength set to 47, decay and var variation set to 25. Okay, leave this on zero. Uh, blast time set to 330, blast speed set to 58, uh, decay set to 6, variation set to 35, okay? And we have blast range set to 436 and variation set to 34, okay? Then go to clusters and this set to 6 variation leave on 0 uh, density set to 1116 ok variation set to 0 and leave this on 5 and 10 ok and finally go to gravity and everything set to 0 ok and now if I set the camera you can see that we have text crash uh, now I'm going to choose the color uh, first color will be something light you can choose whatever you like light blue, light yellow, purple okay and this and this color drag to text okay like me and then go to this cube click and hold and select the plane okay go to plane and then orientation set to plus Z and then go to plane and just move this plane back okay like me and now I'm going to set the camera okay and now double click again and then go to color and this color will be dark okay dark green uh, and like see we have light green and dark green 
and this second color drag to plane okay and we have a nice color uh, the next step is to add a light so click and hold select the light and in light type set to area shadow set to shadow map soft and intensity set to 19.5 okay <coughs> okay now set up this light so so we got the shadow behind the text okay we are not done yet so okay that's good and after you do that go to render render settings go to general set to full render output uh, screen and uh, I'm gonna set to HD uh, go to save I'm gonna save to desktop okay format JPEG uh, and then go to effect and select on ambient occlusion okay and let's see this is our picture so I'm gonna click on render and now I need to wait so I will back when it's done okay guys I'm back and this is the preview of my picture now I'm going to Photoshop file open desktop crash and now first step is to do I'm going to uh, curves and then I just want to set the light of the image so okay I'm done with this now uh, I'm going to copy this layer and then I'm going to filter blur Gaussian blur and then I'm gonna to set to 3.1 click OK then I'm gonna select this tool okay select your text okay now I'm going to select modify feather and set the radius to 75 click OK and then click on this and then after you do that hold your control key and then press I and like you see we have a smooth picture very nice and actually that's it we are done in Photoshop I'm going to file save us desktop crash to JPEG click on save ok no and this is our finally result so guys that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching and see you next time bye